Oh you guys, what is going on and welcome back to Vroom Vroom Dana. Check out this little thing I found over here while at the farm today. I mean obviously it's been here for a while but I've never seen it. It's a little freaking figure eight track so you hop up in here which I suck at these so bad. So you come around here and it just figure eights all the way around. Talk about good freaking practice going through this stuff but it is so hard to stay in the actual like figure eight and commit to it and keep your feet right. So difficult. That is so hard. That is so hard, like stupid hard. But I know that's like such good practice for cornering because I'm awful at it. You're good at it. Dude, it's so hard. Like it's all commitment through there. Like you got to like actually lean in and I suck at it. <laughs> it's so scary because if you pop out, you like want to crash. How are you staying in it when it's like controlling? Like, you just got to like. controlling your bike for you? Yeah, you just got to like let it control you pretty much like i don't know i'm awful at it but when i'm in it i'm just like focusing on keeping my foot out because once my foot gets tucked like i feel like i messed up so if i go around i just let it control me and keep my foot out and try my best i mean that's what i was trying at least because once i get in there and i let my foot like bend or slap down i think i screwed up i'm like well i'm doing it wrong but Honestly, it's easier the more you lean over into it like it's scarier But when you do it, it feels so much better. You're like, oh But it's scary. So check this out you guys somebody came over here where we ride and dug this massive trench Because people were dumping back here and uh, The people who live here are not too happy because somebody came out here and did this illegally But we had to find a different way to get in here because somebody came out here with a freaking tractor and trenched it all out. Paper, scissors, if I win, we both go in. Okay. Okay, ready? Yep. Paper. <laughs> I won. I win. No, there's new rules. Oh, whoa, what are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, you're in my way. How am I in your way? <laughs> I have no front brake. I this is an inch Wait, what? What happened? What happened? All right, no front brake for the day. What, why? I don't know. I guess my brake cable must have snapped or oh. cracked. <laughs> it is difficult. Oh, Gina, not the wall. Yeah. Guys, this is the weekend right here. This is the weekend of the Lake Elsinore Grand Prix. Havoc is a huge sponsor of the event. I hope to see you all out there. I'm racing Saturday. Me and Jay Mack are doing the team race Saturday. Gina's doing the women's race. It's going to be a super, super fun weekend. That's for sure, man. I, I hope to see you all out there. Either if you're racing the event or you're coming out just to hang out. I hope to see you all out there and just, uh, I don't know, hang out, party a little bit. I don't know how much we're going to be partying, but we're going to be out there all weekend having a good time. That's for sure. I'm going to follow you. Don't worry where it goes. Just go down it and we'll see what happens. <laughs> it's all about, man. Exploring new terrain, riding trails you haven't been on, and just kind of playing it by ear. That's like... That's one of the best things about dirt bike riding is sometimes you just kind of, I mean, don't get me wrong, sometimes it's a little dangerous, like uh, this for instance. What's going on, Gina? I think you missed your turn. Whack, I'm not opposed, but I don't think that's a trail. Whoa, where are you going?
wonder if we could forge a new trail up through here or not. Like up that crevice up there. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, yes. Oh. oh, that was hard. Oh, that was not easy. A little hard. Yeah, you got this. <laughs> the way down I found a better way though, you go right and then left up that gap, but it's so like dry and silty and there's a lot of rocks. I was just spinning. Once it rains though, we're gonna make that a trail. I mentioned too, man, we got, not only is it myself, Gina and Joey, we got Sub D coming out that's racing. We got Smodge that's coming out. The dude who had that gnarly, gnarly razor crash. What's up everybody? Just wanted to give an update after yesterday's crash. Overshot the landing just a wee bit. Ended up breaking my neck. Both arms, collarbone, toe, ribs. Pretty much hurt all my feelings. Uh, unfortunately as of right now I don't have any movement or feeling in the arms. But I got my left foot moving pretty good. And I can almost move the right one. So, so we're working on it. Got the neck fused together. They got some, rocking some hardware now. So, just want to thank everybody for all the messages and everything. Like, probably six months ago, maybe like four months ago, roughly, we got Troy Smalls coming out, dude. He has the Instagram. He's a really, really good trials rider because we're going to be put on a trial show. I don't know if I said Zach goes already, but it's going to be, it's going to be an event, man. It's going to be wild. And we're going to have like posters and stuff to sign if you guys wanted to come out and get one of those. Definitely ain't going to be nothing like this kind of riding. <laughs> I'm bringing the, uh, the four smoker bringing the four fitty out for the weekend two smokers staying in the garage and the four fiddle is going to be coming out to play see if this is a trail bad idea you want to go up right there oh too late um we're in a predicament never mind we're good Ugh. we are good Ow! Ah. Uh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Gina's probably like, I freaking hate you, Dana. <laughs> No, I think you went the right way. Um, we have to turn around. Yeah. Um, definitely a little bit of a... Hmm. I mean, we might be able to do this, but... It's definitely going to be a little gnar. Yeah. We're in quite the situation, as the kids would say. We're kind of out of room to go places. <laughs> Dang it, Gina, why'd I follow you? Shit. Woo, I'm free! Kind of, not really. Just more bushes. dark Gina we're gonna have to stay out here the night yeah it's pure like Bear Grylls survivalist I watch a lot of his shows as a kid <laughs> we're gonna die out here Probably not the best idea to do this uh, approaching nighttime, but we didn't know. Get off it and push with all your might when you start it. Use all that power you have in that little body. Oh! Ay, ay, dang, girl! What the heck? What's that for? Hey, your bike's overheating. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Smoking a little bit. I'll just turn out to P just say, fantastic idea. Like, I don't have many, but wow. So it smart. It may have been the best idea you've ever had. Thanks, appreciate it. It's going pretty great. That's almost like the time we got stuck in the dark. I don't remember that. Yeah. No, I wasn't there. Me either. Oh. We came out here to like ride, and instead we just got trapped in a canyon for four hours, but it's okay. I don't remember if it was out. Is it left or right? Right, right up there. Right up there. Yeah. Just go right. Yeah, it's a way out. Oh man, got out of there. <laughs> I thought we were gonna have to spend the night down there. Oh man, definitely uh, maybe doable, but we need some machetes. There's a lot more of that canyon left and uh, the sun's going down. At least it feels good now. All my sweat, man, I'm drenched. It's keeping me cool now that the wind's hitting me. How beautiful it is. You just can't beat views like this. Well, you guys, ending it right there man that's a ride truck is right down there so thank you guys so much for tuning in to uh room room dana that is uh i like to call that the dana gina adventures <laughs> it's all like a reality tv show discovery channel lost in the wild which we almost were sun's already down so we were close but not quite there thanks for tuning in man i'll see you guys this weekend and i'll talk to you in the next video deuces my friends did you almost die down there no i couldn't oh see my you. gosh there was so, I was in your desk cloud. I couldn't see where it went and I rode off the trail. Nice. Then I had to wait for it to cool down. 
Is your bike hot? Yeah. I get it, you vape. I feel like I'm in a sauna. 